happened on Saturday. Yes, as always, I am here. Getting right into it. Yes, they will come around. They will come around. They will circle around and they will come back around. Expect the unexpected. You know what I mean? Expect the unexpected. So that way you always be prepared. But all I mean, you know, at this point in time, once again, those that should know, I mean, you know, if you're new here, welcome. I'm here. You're here. We're here. Here we are. People will come back around. People that's done you wrong, that is. People that mean you no good. People that you've gotten away from, you pull away from. Some, you have to go, uh, what you call it, gray rock, whatever, cold turkey away from. And some of it's just for seasons, or you, at least you, you want it to be that. You know, maybe you intend it to be forever. You don't know, you know. I mean, who knows what the future holds. But it's definitely an extended period of fasting away from this person and their way of thinking. And if it's a cult mentality, away from the cult. You know, unfortunately, so, like I say, sorry, I don't mean to hurt no one's feelings, you know. But the truth shall set you free. The truth hurts. The truth is what will let you free. But it's free where you really want to be. Because just think, and you think about, well, mentally, we're shackled. Mentally, we're slaves. We're still slaves mentally. We're not free. Physically, in many ways, we're slaves. Lose your job. Stop paying that rent. And what's going to happen? Stop paying them taxes. Don't handle your business. Don't get your license. Don't have insurance. Watch what happened. Don't have no money for no food. Watch what happened. Don't need no shackles. They will put the shackles on your ass when you, you know, run out of shit. Or don't pay the right thing. They'll put the shackles on you. You'll find out where the shackles at. Cross the wrong person. Cross the wrong path. You know? Say the wrong thing about the wrong person at the wrong time to the wrong people. But anyway, they will come back around on you. Um, when you least suspect it, when you expect it, and when you least suspect it, whenever. And act like nothing ain't happened. And still expect you to be the bigger man or woman, the bigger person. You know, and you will be as you should be. You can't give in to they think, you know what I mean? You can't do that. Can't have that. You can't give in to the anger or whatever, you know, what you don't calling me. Why? You know, like, no, nah, I don't. You, you, you can't. If you're learning and you're growing, then you're learning and you're growing. Unfortunately, you even got to give to their ass to some extent. Now, you know, it can never be what it was. But you got to give a little bit. I'm going to say, like, you know, do what you want. Do your thing. It's your world. You know, at the end of the day, don't, don't, you know, G ain't got it all figured out. No, I don't. But I mean, that's, that is my advice. That's my best advice. Don't get, don't fall in the trap. Don't fall. You got, and then the advice, maybe that's might be advanced level advice. Maybe the best advice is to don't answer the phone. Ignore them. When you get to a point, be very careful in what I'm saying, because 
it probably is advanced level. Amateur level, which I have been in the amateur level. You don't answer the phone because you will fall victim again to being put on your cape and want to be fully taken advantage of because that's who you are. You're a good person. You got a good heart. You want to help people. You want to help them. You want to be there for them. You think they going to come around. They ain't never coming around. You can be a little bit of an ear or whatever, but like I said, so if, if you're not strong enough, you're just too easy to get taken advantage of because of your heart, because of who you are. And um, it's dangerous. Be careful. They will always come back around and you know who they are easily. It's easy to tell, like I say, because if I'm coming back around, the only reason I act like nothing ain't happened because I know that 99% of the people that I'm dealing with, they don't know how, they, they're not um, mm, fluent in conflict resolution. They, they're not, they don't speak that at all. So they don't even know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle an apology. That's just something to take advantage of. It don't make no sense. So, you know what I mean? I'm serious. I'm just saying. It, it ain't going to get you nothing. You won't get one out of them. You won't get that level. You got to know who you're dealing with. I'm not just saying this shit. You know what I mean? You know who you're dealing with. They don't deal in apologies and resolution and resolving and saying I was wrong about this and and let's figure out where we both were wrong and let's move forward and let's forgive and things like that. You might just say, well yeah, I forgive you. Or it, it, if you even come if you could get it to that point. They might say it, but they don't know what they even apologizing for. They don't know what they're forgiving. I don't mean that shit. So they come back around. They could just be coming back around just to test you. Just to just to absorb energy from you. Just to uh as a universal test for you. Just to see where you at. Just to feed off of you, just to get you to explode. Like I said, go off on that to question them. Or you already know how easily triggered they are. All you got to do is say one wrong thing. So you trigger them. They triggered. And now they triggering you. Or maybe the mere fact that him calling might be a trigger. They need an ear to listen to. And so you got to comfort the devil, right? You got to soothe the devil, the person that may even actively be still having uh, ways of breaking you down and destroying you, whatever little way, and they didn't even pretending to not be aware of that, you know what I mean? Or just not aware of it, They don't, because they don't care. That's just how much they don't care. They're aware or not aware, don't matter, you know? Because that's just how much about them that it is. They would never acknowledge that. But when you change, you change. You'll know, you know you've changed. You don't need no acknowledgement for no one else. You'll know because you can talk to them, say whatever, be calm and cool about it, not be triggered, recognize the triggers without being triggered. 
and move on. Nice talking to you. Talk to you later. And knowing that you didn't have no intentions on obviously talking to them later. And, you know, whenever you talk to them, you talk to them. You, you know, you do, you do, you don't, you don't. Because it's all like a trigger warning, a test. Always a test. Do you fail or do you pass? It's always a test. People are always going to test you. People all they're going to come back around, man, again and again and again and again. The same person till the day they die. You know what I'm saying? Chances are. Or you'll be attracting new people just like them into your life. And they're going to keep coming around. It's some version of them or that energy um, is going to be coming around always to test you. So either you stay shaking or you get stronger in your foundation. If you really believe this shit, then you, you, you're stronger. You're already stronger. You already have, um, you know, walked through the fire. Like I said, you get diamonds out of pressure. There ain't anything worthwhile out of pressure. Not out of nothing. Not out of easy. Purified water out of pressure, steam. It's the steam. That's the purity. That's the pure. You boil the water, the vapor is the purest part of that. You boil fermented things. It's the drip, the vapor. That's the spirits. That's the, the proof. That's the 90 proof. That's the 100 proof, whatever. What's left over is the trash. The contaminated parts. Inside where it's borrowed. All right, so I think that's all I got for now. Stay up, stay alert. And I'm out. Peace.